Hello and welcome to a Let's Play of Civilization VI where today I'll be playing as Matthias. I'm playing on Deity, everything is normal in the map setup, I've got Secret Societies on, and I'm going to go ahead and start the game. If you are a repeat viewer of my channel, I just want to give you a shout out, thank you very much for watching my content, don't forget to leave a like on each and every video as it helps the algorithm, and of course I would really appreciate a subscription to my channel, although I don't know why I'm explaining all this, you all know how YouTube works. So Matthias is a Civ that doesn't really get a whole lot of bonuses one way or another. I'm kind of thinking about going for a diplomatic victory today. That's like sort of my bias, but I'm going to wait and see what the map tells me. Uh, you don't get a lot of production any which way, but you do get a bonus production on districts if you can manage to Sim City correctly with the rivers. So you do get a bias towards settling towards rivers and maybe even settling two cities on the same river and you settle one above the river, one below it, and then you have the districts form sort of an L shape. I'm just going to see what I have in the map. This start is pretty slow. How can I make it better? If I get a builder, I could make this have a three food tile and then I could work the elephants or maybe in a plains hill with a mine on it. <sighs> so I actually gave up a Pio Pio Tahi start because I looked at it and I was like, this is just too great. I have like a plus four harbor and Pio Pio Tahi. And I was like, I want to play something a little fairer. Well, I found something fairer. I could move towards the lake. Doesn't do anything for me. I could move over to the ivory, settle the ivory, but then I don't have any two food tiles to work in the very beginning. And I, I do get to settle this turn. I get to get closer to floodplains, and this is definitely coast. I think I might do that. Okay, the problem with that is there may be one more city on this river if I do it right. And as I was, I was just talking about, I could Sim City this, where I have districts on, you know, this city's districts over here, this city's districts over here, and then get adjacency for all of those sweet, sweet districts. But I think I have to give up that plan because the only way that I really, um, the only way that I save this start is if I move to the ivory. Oh, there's rice. Beautiful. Settle here. And then I need to immediately get into a builder just as soon as I can. So I do have three production, which means I can quickly churn out a scout. And then I want to go for a builder. I'm getting a scout because I need to meet an Aya in order to sell these elephants. That's the whole reason that I moved onto the elephants, so that I could sell them. Oh, that is the most pitiful river. Right, settle here, and then have one district across the river, and then once blocked by a silk tile. I should have just played that Pio Pio Tahi game. <laughs> I'm going to go for a quick animal husbandry just to see if I have any horses, because I do have a lot of tiles that could be made quite a lot better if, they're, if I find horses on them. And there's a barbarian. So what I'm going to do is fortify and see if he'll move over here and maybe even cross the river and then, okay, he's actually going in this direction. So I'm going to move over this way and try to zone him away from my capital. Cause that's the next worst thing for me is if I have to fight barbarians on top of this with this low production or sorry, this low food, low food ultimately does mean low production. I think I have to try and kill the scout as much as I don't want to. I need to get that scout out there and finding other sieves. So maybe I get one more scout and then I build a builder. Especially because, oh, we're going to grow towards the maze? You've got to be kidding me. Well, that is a plus four harbor on a nothing city. This is a very low production start. And I'm not not feeling it. I'm gonna cross the river here. I'm just gonna send this scout out with low health. Just because I well, I'm actually finishing another scout, so I might as well heal him up. Okay, so we'll fortify there. I'm gonna send this scout in this direction. This is such a lonely start. So far, no city states, no other players, no good tiles. There's Christina, okay, so that's great. I'm gonna send her a delegation. Oops, animal husbandry is done. Let's see, 
We do have horses in range of our capital. That's really good. That's going to make the capital much, much better. In fact, can I send her a delegation and then also buy those horses? Yes, she will accept my delegation. So let's try and buy those horses. Next turn, we'll get horses, we'll get a 2-2 tile. So that's why if you look at this start, this was a pretty bad start. You need to start thinking about how you can make your tiles better. One way to do that is with a builder. So you can improve the tiles. That's why I was looking at the, the wheat. But another way is by revealing horses on the map. Because horses, this tile was a 1-1 one, one tile, right? It's just planes. But then once you reveal horses, now the algorithm starts to bias towards those horses. And it's a 2-2 two, two tile that you can actually work. This is a 3-1 tile now. Overall, I think that moving over was the right call because now I'm closer to those horses. Unfortunately, that does zone out a city that would have not been zoned out. Zoned out. But, oh, I was just going to heal. The, Talking and playing at the same time. That's what happens. So there may be another city over here. And then, yeah, but these rivers are so small. I'd have to build an aqueduct here, and then like a dam, and then use this to grow. Hmm. I don't really like to start, but I'm going to make do with what I have. I don't really have a strong holy site. There is a plus one holy site, but if I do try to go for a religion, then I can ultimately build the Mahabodhi Temple, which is worth two diplomatic victory points. The problem with a religion in this game is that there really isn't any payout. All of my holy sites are pretty bad, and I don't really see a reason to go for a religion if I'm not going to get good adjacency on the holy sites. So I think I might skip religion and just try to be perfect in the world congresses. Although that does pass on pagodas, and pagodas are very good, but I'm planning on joining the owls of Minerva and then using uh, my friendship with a bunch of city-states. That's another thing I didn't talk about. Matthias does get two envoys every time he levies a city-state. So you are incentivized to have a really, really strong gold economy. That's something Alice can do for you. And then if you are suzerain of a city-state, you can levy the military of that city-state, and then you get two envoys. So it's, you can essentially purchase envoys as Matthias. And so one thing you could do is have uh, Amani as governor. You can have her with the puppeteer. So she doubles the number of envoys you have. So if I have three envoys for the city state, I can then put her in there, double it. Now I'm envoy for a moment, or sorry, I'm a suzerain for a moment. I can then levy their military, get two envoys, and then once I leave with the money, I could still be suzerain of the city state, potentially. I don't know if that's any good. I don't know if that, that will ever come up in this game, but it's hypothetically possible. That's what I was thinking about. I'm going to go for mining, because I do have hills that I can improve, and I am building a builder right now. Oh, I meant to sell her with ivory, see what she will give me. Four gold per turn, so how about like 90 gold up front, I think it is? Let's try 80 first. Okay, not even 80. What about 60? Okay, 70. 75. Normally I wouldn't push it like this, but every little bit counts. Okay, so I have 75 gold now, and I should have bought this tile a couple turns ago, especially because I'm working something garbage. I know I'm working something garbage. We're going to buy this tile, and since since I have the gold in the bank, I don't need it for any other purpose. Christina's not going to attack me. I can wait a while to send her. I will want to send her some gold to make her friends with me. But this tile will not get any cheaper, and I'm going to need it in three turns, so I might as well just buy it now. Uh, we're going to clear out that barbarian camp with this warrior. This scout's going to heal. And we're going to go try and um, see if we can find something. Ooh, that is a plus four campus. So we're playing a river free game as Matthias. That's, that's fine, I guess. We didn't need to uh, have any civ bonuses. We'll win this game as generic civ. It'll be fine. I actually should wait for Code of Laws here. I'm just going to heal up, and then once I get Code of Laws, then I'll plug in the Discipline card. Now that I'm thinking about it, I have such a slow start, I might actually want to steamroll her and take over her land, if I can. 
Especially if she has some rivers. Oh, we've been scouted in another direction. That's beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. Um, actually, I've been working the wrong tile for a turn or two, maybe. I want to work both of those two two tiles. I don't want to work that extra production just yet. And I probably should have gone off of the builder once I realized that I had horses. Although I already have an animal husbandry, so I can at least get these pastures running. Maybe even sell those horses. It's time for another settler. And it's definitely time to... Well, I guess it, four turns for a slinger that can help me clear out this barbarian camp. Let's take a slinger really quick and then we'll get a settler. I don't really feel like I have to rival Christina for any of this. Oh, there's Rivers. Where is she? There's minus one loyalty. So yeah, you do actually have to rival her for this territory. All of this stuff is mine, but it's also garbage. So I'll come back for it later. I'm thinking I might actually want to attack Christina. Which means I'm thinking I might want craftsmanship. We do have at least decent production in the capital, and we're going to get even more with these pastures. So we'll have two, two, three tiles that we're working. We can back up to another one, three tile. Let's take discipline. I should have taken that before I hit that scout. And there's our policy agenda. That's a plus five something. I don't think I can go for a religion. I think it might be a little late to try and... Because um, I've built two scouts, I've built a builder, I've built a slinger, and then I'm going to build a settler. So I'd have to delay my second city in order to get a religion. And Christina is a pretty strong religion player, so she's likely to get one. I shouldn't say she's a strong religion player. What I should say is that she's biased towards building a religion. And I think this scout's going to make it back home, which means we're going to get raided, which will be the perfect opportunity to improve our troops. Uh, we'll get a level on all of our units, and then we'll go attack Christina. Meanwhile, I'm just going to wait until he crosses the river. And follow him. Okay, so there's Sanguine Pact. Oof. Uh, I really want to join the Owls. I don't know that I want or need the vampires, although I'm going for an early war. It just seems a little bit, um, it seems a little bit like, what am I trying to say? There's Milta, Mitla. It seems like I'm giving up a lot of late game opportunity for some early game advantage. Okay, this is a plus five harbor in a garbage city. This is like, it's tempting, but this city would never come online. You have to think about it this way. I've got a one, one tile. If I build a lumber mill here, then this is a one, three tile. If I took God of Craftsmen, then suddenly I'd have a couple of two production tiles. But by the time that I get around to settling this, it'll be late enough in the game that harbors are so expensive. I set the city down and then the harbor costs me 40 turns to get online. And then I still have to buy a shipyard. Once I buy the shipyard, then the city has production. It's just garbage. Yeah, I'm not happy with our land, which makes me want to go take somebody else's. That's a plus three campus. Yeah, if I settle here, then I can put a campus there. I'm under no obligation to actually build a harbor in every coastal city. But I do need to build a harbor in one coastal city that has good production. And if I'm going to build a harbor, I might as well want it next to the city center. So I wonder if I settle here and then just bite the bullet on the campus, but then build other districts on the other side of the river. Like if I build a city center here, campus here, harbor here, and then aqueduct, dam, industrial zone, and then benefit other cities. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't benefit that many cities. This is sort of a fringe city. Could also build the industrial zone further down. Like, let's see, one, two, three, four. If I settle this city here, they could put a plus five campus in there. She's going to take that tile, but I might take her, so. Anyway, I don't think I can get more than one aqueduct. Could I build two dams? This is a Dahl River floodplain, and this is quite clearly a co That's a Dahl River floodplain as well, huh? I thought that was a Clara River floodplain because like this is wait what 
This is the Dahl River. This is the Clara River. Okay. Mind blown. <laughs> so, um, checking in with myself here. I think I want to, um, I think I want to improve the wheat. That way I can essentially have, um, these two tiles match each other in terms of how good they are. And then we'll come forward, settle her, use that as a staging area. This is going to be really, really tough to try and, uh, have a successful military campaign against her because of all of these mountains. I'd have to walk all the way around them, and by that time she might have iron or something. I could go for a horse rush because I do have horses. I'm already accruing them. Speaking of which, I might want to sell some horses to her, but if I go for archery, I could might be able to kill a unit with a slinger because I'm about to get raided by these barbarians, although now that I see how far away they are, I'm a little bit, war I'm a little bit uh, less concerned about that. I think I'm going to send my warrior back home to heal. The warrior did earn a promotion, actually. So if I take the promotion... Did he? Cancel. Promotion. Battle cry. There we go. Now I can send him to... Is he really getting the water? <laughs> the pathing in this game is so bad sometimes. Okay, one turn until border growth, so we'll wait for that turn. I'm going to move the slinger over here and just do some scouting. I'm going to attack the scout. See if I can kill him. There's a flood that made those tiles better. The thing about this idea with war with Christina, now it doesn't seem like it's panning out anymore because... She's so far away, the barbarians are so far away, I'm not going to have promoted units by the time that I get to her. She's building, what is this, the Great Bath? Yeah, so I could have a Great Bath. I think I might try to war her with bad units. So in a couple turns, we'll get a Goge. We'll finish our settler, we'll have another city settled. I'm going to forward settle on her for loyalty purposes. Yeah, probably like right here. Build a campus. Because she's outclassing me in science really, really bad. And then I'll just try and do a warrior rush on her. There's a barbarian camp, so I can uh, get a kill with the slinger here. Hopefully he'll wake up and come attack my slinger, at which point I can win. I'm going to try and get behind the scout. Is the scout from this camp? Is that what's on? What's up? I think this scout is from this camp, which means I'm in for some trouble. Oh, the scout actually attacked me. That suggests that that scout was an orphan, right? So what I can do is actually just fortify here and then wait for him to attack into me. Isn't that how this works? Because if I step out, then he might hit me. I think I can do this. I can take a step out and then take a shot. And then he'll attack me. And then I could just fortify. Let's, uh, let's box this scout in. Okay, so now he's back on the camp, which I thought he might do. But I did get two shots on him, so I think I'm going to get the kill with that slinger. There's Pamakale. This one, this one uh, gives you adjacency bonus, and there's Hermetic Order, which is a good, like... It's a good runner-up for a diplomatic victory. I'm going to get the kill with the scout. She took the goody hut, which is unfortunate. So I can move over and clear the camp, or I can uh, actually get the kill on the, the spearman. And I think I'd rather get the kill on the spearman than clear the camp. And I'm going to move over here. So I, I'd probably settle this city like third. This wonder is not that important because all it does is provide a, a major adjacency bonus. 
You have major adjacency bonus to Theater Square Campus and Commercial Hub District. Standard adjacency bonus to Holy Site District. It provides fresh, fresh water. Too bad it's too late for a religion. I really didn't see it in the cards until just now. But there's a plus five holy site here and there's a plus six holy site over there. It just wouldn't have worked out with uh, such a low value district in the capital, especially with like playing from behind like this. I just, it, the opportunity cost of that religion would have been so great. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at Christina as an opportunity. It's just how it's gotta go. Which means I need to bring these scouts over here and start looking at her land. There's a city here. There's probably another couple cities over there. I'd like to send an envoy as quick as I can so I can try to join the owls. I'm going to also try to bankrupt her. She's at war with another player, who I don't know. Let's see, how many horses will you give me for 94 gold? Oh wow, she doesn't want horses at all. Two gold for one horse. Make this deal more equitable. Two gold for one horse, okay. Well, I don't know that that's even worth it. I could meet another player and sell those horses for uh, much, much more expensive. I could sell them for much more expensive. Yes, that's, that's a good sentence. All right, um, craftsmanship is almost done. Three turns, wow, three turns for a warrior. We have a ridiculous production in the capital. We're no longer playing from behind, so that's good. I'm gonna sneak out a monument before craftsmanship. Just get me some loyalty and get towards uh, political philosophy faster. I can take oligarchy so that I can then knock over Christina. Of course there would be a barbarian camp as soon as I'm trying to send my settler out here. I do have minus eight on this tile, but I'm going to get a governor. And then I'll probably just buy this tile and immediately uh, try to place a campus, although I don't have campuses unlocked. But I will buy the tile just because that's a plus five campus. That will really help me catch back up. Oh, she's actually settling over here, so I'm going to try to prevent her from doing that. She's also got an escort formation, which makes it more difficult. And Mitla's grown to where I can no longer pass through there. Okay, so this scout is dead. I'm going to block her off here and see if I can still settle this. I might have to take a slightly worse position on the settle just in order to make sure that I have the city because like it'll take me three turns to get here. She could settle any old time on that tile. Well I guess if I can block her settle there then I will. Oh she's coming back. So she sees me and then I'm blocking her out and she's like oh I'll wait. So there's the Void Singer. So we've found literally every secret society except the one that we want. That's really nice. So here's the thing. If I put the city center there, then I don't actually get the uh, adjacency. This is a troll silk. So I only get one really strong adjacency district off of Pamakale. I could settle on the rice and give myself a plus a uh, three food base, but then my harbor is not as good. I suppose I'll have to cross that bridge when I come to it. I'm going to send this slinger over here to kill this barbarian because we apparently didn't get our promotion just yet. Oh, yeah, I did. I just haven't taken it. E. Okay, craftsmanship is done. Let us take... A good state workforce? I don't think that really does anything for me. I don't think military tradition does anything for me either. Although I might be building a bunch of warriors. Let's let's at least yeah, let's go for military tradition. 
we have three governor titles now. Oh, I should have I should have promoted a governor a long time ago. That's probably the biggest mistake that I've made this game because I have uh, three population in the capital, so I've missed out on three culture for a long, long time. There was one person that commented on my video uh, with Lady Six Guy. It was like, don't you wait too long for your governor titles? So, yes, I do. So we'll appoint Pingala. I think we'll also have to appoint, appoint Victor, but we need to appoint Pingala now because we're behind the game on culture. Actually, I think I want to take the science promotion on him. And then I'll leave one governor title for keeping this city alive and also potentially getting Victor so that uh, I can have a successful military campaign against Christina. Because if I have um, no loyalty in this area, her cities will just flip. We're going to skip our turn here and move over. We don't have our Pantheon just yet. I do want to swap in a Goge. And then I think that's probably going to do it for this episode. I think that this is a natural break point. In the next episode, I'll settle this city. I'll get this monument done. I'll start building builders and then sending them down to Christina. Actually, a trader might be good now that I think about it because I want that road to get to like Karlstad and then just, you know, beat face. But anyway, I'm going to make some of those decisions later on. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.